Hello everyone, welcome back to Liz Artist. The human body system is one of the most interesting and complex systems in the world. And I especially am very interested to explore it. So I decided to, to create a new series, the Antinomy Atlas, wherein we are going to research and find out the interesting working of our human body system. So let's get started. Our body is very interesting to know about. When we rest, it looks like we are quiet and relaxed, but actually our body inside the skin is very busy. Different parts are working actually hard so that we survive. Like the heart pumps blood to our body, the lungs breathe in and out gases, our intestines break down and digest our last meal, millions of cells multiply and replace worn out parts, repair small everyday bruises and bumps, and make sure that your body grows and gets older. Every now and then, your brain tells your muscles to pull on the bones of your skeleton so that if you can move about and get comfortable. If all this happens as you rest, imagine how active your body is when you are running at full speed. So this is a proof of how amazing our body is. So now let's get small steps. Let's understand how our body is made. So this is our body. And if we have a closer look at it, we can find out that it is made up of small structures. These structures are known as cells. When these cells combine together, they form organ walls, which are called as tissues. Not the tissues that you use to wipe your face, but they are something, a part of your body, which when come together form organs. Organs that have relatably same functioning come together and form organ systems. There are 12 organ systems in our body. Now let's see each one of them in short. The integumentary system. It is the organ system which covers the inner organs of our body and protect it from invading particles. This majorly includes skin, hair and nails. Then comes the skeletal system, which consists of all the bones in our body. It is the main base and support structure of our body. Then comes the muscular system, which helps us to move. Without the muscular system, our body would look just like a scary skeleton. Then comes the lymphatic system, which is embedded in the muscular system, and it is the network of tissues and nerves and other things. Then comes the respiratory system, which helps us to respire. Respiration actually means taking in air, converting it into energy with the help of other raw materials, and then excreting the air that we do not need. This process happens with the help of nose, trachea, and our lungs. The digestive system consists of all the digestive organs, like our mouth, the food pipe, also known as the esophagus, stomach, intestines, anus, and rectum. Without the digestive system, the food that we eat is just useless to our body. Nervous system. Nervous system is the network of nerves and our brain. Our brain signals the body to do various functions which are transmitted through nerves. The nervous system is very essential for our body and it helps us in functioning. The endocrine system excretes hormones. The circulatory system pumps blood purifies it and circulates it to all parts of our body. The urinary system is also called as the excretory system. It consists of the kidneys which purify the blood and mix the excreted wastes with water which makes urine. This urine is excreted through the urinary bladders. The reproductive systems are different in male and female. They help to reproduce species of the same kind. Then comes the immune system. It helps us to produce antibodies. 
Antibodies help us to fight against diseases and protect our body against invaders. So these are the 12 organ systems of our body. In further videos, I will be explaining each system in more detail. Thank you everyone. Like, share and subscribe. Tune in till the next episode. Bye-bye.